So here's our uh, holding tool, as you can see. Um, and as far as uh, putting this on, it's really simple. You just uh, go ahead and hook that there. You got the bevels. As you can see, I made those bevels so it doesn't uh, gouge out my hub. And then you can just put the uh, rear hub, uh, you know, rim uh, nuts on there. Doesn't need to be tight, tight, just finger tight. Just enough to hold it in place. Like that. And then this will actually swing up and it'll hit the case like that. Now, you know, you can either put like a, a soft, you know, glove here or a grip or anything that you want. Or if you're not worried about what your case looks like, you can just leave it the way it is. As far as the hub, you know, you got your uh, nut and then your lock washer. Lock washer, it's imperative that it's, uh, it's smaller than the nut because otherwise the... Uh, lock ring won't fit on so so if you're having problems with your lock ring looking like it's crooked or canted or anything like that it's because your rear hub nut or your rear hub nut washer is uh, too big because it's uh, this is actually binding on that now since this is a later style we actually only have to go to uh, 110 to 120 foot pounds for this so got my Crescent wrench out, or my, excuse me, my torque wrench out. I set it to 55 for now. We're just gonna do it to 55. And then, uh, and then we'll go to 110 at the end. So you can see I'm just bringing it up there. And then there's that, that's all locked in place, finger tight. Yep, way we go. And if you need to, you might need to uh, suspend the rear of the engine if you're not secured in the front. All right, so I'm at 55. Now we're going to the big uh, 110. And then once we get to 110, we'll actually look to see where our uh, holes line up with the lock ring. And we can determine, you know, how far we have to go after that. So. So we're at 110. And we're going to put the uh, lock ring on. And I can see it's got to go a little bit farther to line up doesn't matter which one you go to they're all gonna end up the same if there's one thing I learned they all kind of end up the same so it's just got to go a little bit farther you know we can set this to 120 now we could even go to 115 just to see if that's gonna be enough to uh, get it lined up once you start getting to these really high weights uh, it doesn't uh, turn very much between you know pounds <clears throat> see I went to 115 and it's already it barely turned so but it turned enough and now it's uh, lined up there and now we can go ahead and put our uh, Allen in that holds the, the lock ring in place before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and clean the threads up on this and then I'll uh, put some Loctite on it so that we don't lose this when we're riding. All right, and as you can see, you know, I got some, just a little dot, dot of uh, Loctite on there. I got my socket for my Allen, and then I got my smaller torque wrench here, uh, set at 10 pounds uh, torque for this particular. Uh, holder Allen is 10 to 11 pounds, so.
And that's it. Rear hub is on and everything is set.